Maronin, como tu ta? What is good, my people? Today we are reacting to Spirit Box uh, Constance Acoustic Live 2021. I believe this will be the first time I'm listening to Courtney Live, or Spirit Box Live, I should say. So um, I'm excited. Don't know what to expect on this one, uh, but um, I'm here for whatever comes. But before we get into this reaction, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the noti bell. Uh, also, we can now drop super thanks and support the channel. I appreciate you. If you have any reaction requests, let me know down in those comments below, or you can DM me. You can find my socials in the description uh, box area. <laughs> Let's get into this reaction. Dial it. Yo, listen, shout out the violinists because like they're adding an extra element to like this performance that I've never heard from Fairy Blocks before, but like it slaps so hard. And um I don't know why I thought this would be like a stripped down uh version of the song. It didn't say stripped down, but I was what I was coming in thinking it was. Uh Courtney's voice is in this one um bit of a issue with like hearing her. Uh, maybe when she goes into her highs, like uh, or or runs, I'll be able to hear a little bit better. Uh, but she's sort of being overtaken by the uh, instrumental, in my opinion. You let me know down in the comments below if you disagree with me. This, oh my god, this one, she sounds so soft, man. She sounds good on this song. Even though it's a little bit difficult to to uh, to hear in, in some parts of the song. like But when I can, her voice is just so good on this one, man. And again, the violinist just adds an additional element of just like seasoning to this performance, man. What is that sound? I love it. Is this like a choir or something? Or is that an instrument? What is that? That's an instrument. What instrument is that? Let me know down in the comments below. But that uh, that also too sounds like, sounds like a stringed instrument. Um, if I'm hearing that correctly, I'm just going. I'm just going based off my hearing here. So if it's like not string stringed instrument or somebody singing, I'm sorry. But like what I'm hearing sounds like a stringed in stringed instrument. <laughs> uh, oh, but it adds such a nice richness to the song, though. Give it up, I'm complacent Just enough to escape it Never to 
Snakes wouldn't face me. It's a dress I don't want. Yo, it's, it's instrumental. This might be the first time where, like, I'm actually loving the instrumental more so than Courtney's uh, singing in her voice. Like, this instrumental is insane, man. Like, Spirit Box is one of the only bands where, like, I will come for the instrumental if they were just doing, like, a Don singing or just instrumental session or something like that. Because, like, oh, my God. Like, ugh, this is just, this is, this is madness right here, man. It's madness. It's, like, beautiful, man. And it's one of those songs when you just close your eyes and you just transport it to a different universe. We're like, ugh. first acoustic live reaction from Spirit Box, man, constant. And I, I want, I want more like uh, songs like this from Spirit Box. Like, don't get me wrong, love their live performances, like the metal. Like, I, I, I love, I love all of that. But like this right here is just beautiful. There's something about that last section of the of the instrumental. Um, it kind of got a little bit dark in comparison to like how it started off being like um like light, like airy, um, you know, just giving life, and then like for some reason it just sort of turned to like a little bit like somber and, and dark where I was just feeling uncomfortable. Like this is the second song where Spare Box has utilized like the instrumental invoke these types of emotion in me. Uh, the last one, I believe it was like the last reaction that I, I did. I'm not, I can't recall the name of the name of the song, but again, like Spreadbox is able to do things with like these instrumentals that just like make you feel things. And I don't know of many bands that do this. I do know of singers like Willow Smith is a good example of using her voice as an instrument as well as instrumental to like invoke things like anxiety, um, you know, panic, etc. Uh, but like, in the rock space, like especially in the metal space, like I think Spirit Box is probably the only ones that are, are doing that, but I could be wrong. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you know of any other bands that do what Spirit Box just did right here because this was, man, this was good. This was good. Listen, my people, before we leave this video, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that noty bell. I uh, don't leave it out hitting all three. I appreciate you. See you next video. Peace.